We're here on the back porch on a rainy day in the garden with my friends Carrie and Harper, who are brother and sister. They're going to help me out today with a project, a good craft project, that involves making stepping stones that you can customize, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've got to uh, figure out a design. Have you guys been thinking about a design you want to put into these uh, uh, stepping stones? Yeah, it took a while. Okay. All right. You got something in mind? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we made some frames, right? And these frames are about two inches. The important thing is that they're about two inches thick. And these are about 13 inches square, but you can really make them almost any size um, you want in terms of the shape of them, but make them at least two inches thick. And I experimented the other night, and I uh, had a disaster, basically. <laughs> I made mine too big. This is almost 16 inches square. Believe it or not, this is 50 pounds of concrete wow. in here, and I didn't even fill up the whole form. We're going to fill these things up, and we're going to get going, okay? Let's go to it. All right, let's do it. The nice thing about using these 50-pound uh, bags or 75-pound bags of concrete mix is that it is a mix. It's got the sand, and it's got the cement, and it's got the gravel already in it, and so in the right proportions, so you don't have to mess with it. Okay, I think that's just about it. You know what I might have you do, Carrie? Yeah. yeah. So while I fill up yours, I want you to start, as soon as I get this one filled up, I want you to start using that little trowel to start smoothing it because we're going to make this nice and smooth. And you know what? If we made perfectly square edges on this thing instead of putting them at an angle like that, yeah. if they were perfectly square, they'd be, have a tendency to want to chip. So we're going to angle them just a little bit. Oh. Oh. Oh, another secret learned. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. See how nice and smooth that gets? Yeah. Har Harper, are you ready to do yours? Yeah. You guys have ever seen patios with these kind of things in them? Yeah. You know what happens, though, you do those and you put your name, you put your date, you put your handprints in the patio, and then what happens if you move, right? Yeah. Somebody else gets that and they don't know who you are or what your birthday was, or they don't even probably care that much. So this way, you can do them and they're portable. You can customize a stepping stone and it's portable and you can give it to someone like your parents or your grandparents. And if they happen to move, they can just take it with them. Yeah, yeah I've also seen uh, people do smaller versions and make tiles and set them in their bathroom. Oh, that's a good idea. Why didn't we think of that earlier? I don't know. <laughs> All right, you want me just to smooth it out a little bit more for you, Harper? Yeah. Okay, I'll get it real smooth for you. You did a good job, Harper. Have you frosted a lot of cakes? Yeah, I have. Oh, I bet you have. Because I could tell you knew exactly what you were doing. All these materials, the marbles and the tiles and the all this kind of stuff you can get at craft stores or art stores or even uh, your craft stores are the best place to get things like mosaic tiles and they also have uh, special pieces of uh, equipment or tools that, where you can cut the tiles too when you want to make a more elaborate design. So anyway, when this, this is going to set up real quick now and once it's completely set up, we've got a board on the bottom here that's got uh, screws in it and we're going to unscrew those screws and drop the bottom right off, and then this whole thing will come right out. After you put all this creativity into this, you don't want anything to happen to it, uh, so don't get impatient. Uh, even though the concrete sets up in about a half an hour, it's a good idea to leave it overnight in the, in the form and let it really set up. And then after uh, next morning, take the screws out of the back, drop the back off of it, jiggle the frame just a little bit, and it'll come out just perfect. No chips, no breakage on it. Uh, we're going to try to go out in the garden now and find a permanent place to put this because um, we want a place to showcase it to, so we can really uh, see it uh, well, but we also want it to be a permanent spot because it's heavy enough, it's really heavy enough that we don't want to be moving it too often. It's a fun project. It's a fun project for kids. It's a fun project for adults. Um, I hope you try it yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this Hooked on Gardening video as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. I also hope it will become an important part of your home garden reference library. Until next time, happy gardening.